Hello. Good evening. Good evening, good evening, good evening, friends. I gotta turn this down. How are we all doing? Uh, how are we all doing? Welcome to everybody who's tuned in early, waiting through the loading screens. I thought I, uh, I thought I'd uh, cheekily play the two tracks that we worked on on the uh, other music streams, the Lo-Fi song and the Electro Funk song. Hey, Gorgonito, long time no see indeed. Superior out of 10, me. I am, um, I'm like, ever get like uncomfortably full? Oh, so thank you for the follow, Abdiel13. Yeah, ever get like uncomfortably full? Like I'm like that. I uh, I ordered a burger from a, from a place called Buck's Bar in Glasgow and they make really great chicken burgers, but that's a lot of food. Totoro moment, yeah. Got rocking the Totoro shirt. Food, food, uh, food baby, all that. Evening, yeah, it's uh, it's just it's gone seven past nine o'clock here in Glasgow, Scotland. So it is evening for me. Um, I've uh, I've had a very unproductive uh, couple of days. What did I get? I got their. Uh, okay, so let, let me let me get this right. So let me let me go to my Uber Eats history. I believe what I got was the hot cock burger. No, that is not a. Uh, <laughs> That is not a misnomer. It is called the Hot Cock Burger. Uh, orders. Is it not uh, wanting to show me my orders? Okay, well, whatever. It was, it's like a, it was like a Nashville sauce burger kind of thing. Nashville hot chili oil pickles, sriracha mayo with sweet potato fries. Kind of iron brew. Can't go wrong. So... Yeah, that's what I got. And I've been feeling that way. I've been feeling like really f uncomfortably full. So we'll see how that goes. It's a interesting way to be for the stream. Uh, it's a great, it was a great burger though. Um, the other thing that's happened in my life that's um, kind of t turned my life upside down is uh, I'm just, I'm just going to show the tweet. Some of you guys will have probably seen it already. Um, but uh, yeah, if I switch to the webcam corner. Oh shit, here we go again. Hey you, you're finally awake. I did that thing where I um, reinstalled Skyrim. Uh, so I've been playing Skyrim with a bunch of mods again. I just wanted to like turn my brain off and just play some like Skyrim in my free time. So that's what I'm doing. Good evening, Mazmaji. Good evening, good evening. Um, So we're gonna stop talking about Skyrim. And we're gonna continue with the music stuff. And um... I was actually thinking about what to do. Actually, yeah, Abdiel says uh, Skyrim slaps even 10 years later. I don't know what it is about Skyrim that I find so much fun. Like, objectively, against other games, it has worse questing, it has a worse open world, it has worse combat, has worse graphics. Like, everything about it is just worse, except when you combine everything together, it sounded just. It just sounded, kind of sounds good, I guess. It's. it's uh, just, it's just fun. I don't know. I think mods really make it. Like I've, I've added a bunch of new mods, which kind of, ink, like add new voice lines and open up new stuff. So yeah. So. Sky Skyrim combat is awful. Like I mean, like that's what I, that's what I mean. Like everything about the game seems like pretty bad. But, yeah. Uh, Cooldown Crusade. I've been wanting to catch this for this 5 a.m. year right now. Oh shit! Where are you, man? That's uh, so early for you. Let me turn the music down a little bit more. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I've, I've, I've just been going crazy modding. Modding Skyrim has been never been easier as well because you can just do it through Steam's Workshop or use uh, like the mod manager tool from the Nexus mods called Vortex. So it's like super easy. Sup, Shinjiro? Uh, so yeah, that's been my life for the la last two days. I've just been playing Skyrim. Um, I've also been thinking about what we're going to do for the stream because like I did realize I didn't actually have a plan for what kind of music that we're going to do for the stream. Um, so I was thinking, I was just like, you know what? I'm going to... I'm gonna fall back and keep on like keep keep the electronic theme going. Um, but we're gonna do Jazz Tronica. And there's a Spotify playlist called Jazz Tronica, which is really good. But if you've heard of artists like Anomaly and um, Rob Arajo, there's like a bunch of artists in that vein. So 
we're uh, we're gonna do something in the vein of Jastronica. Philippines have a fucked up body clock. Oh man, yeah, I, I feel that man. I I I don't sleep normal hours at all. So we're gonna do something in the vein of Jastronica. And uh, another thing that happened was I didn't have any idea about what to do for it, as in like what kind of like what anything to do with the song really. I had like no idea about chord progression, and then. Just as I was in the shower earlier, um, I just had a melody pop into my head. It was just a simple pentatonic melody, but I was all, you know what? I had the pentatonic melody and like a chord progression, so I'm like, you know what? That that will work. So we're gonna we're gonna go for the shower thought uh, jazz tonica. So I'm just creating a project file now. Uh, jazz tonica. Oh my god, I'm. So bloated. Um, so we're gonna we're just gonna put Keyscape up and do all the things. Uh, what are we doing with you? Uh, I'm putting performance mode to minimum. Then I need to add Bookshango recorder so that you guys can actually hear stuff. Okay, so turn this on. I should I should definitely like set this up beforehand, but you know, you, you guys get to see me do this live. Okay, so we have piano, uh, shower moment. What is it about war to the fallen that sparks inspiration? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> thanks. I meant to say, CT, thanks for showing me that dummy thick snake meme. Oh, man, there's so many good Metal Gear memes. Um, Senpai 3 is amazing, bro. My wife loves it. I mean, honestly, like, I'm just I'm just surprised your wife is still with you after she knows she listens to my... After she knows you listen to the Senpai music. That's a that's an achievement in and of itself. So, yeah, it's, it's cool that she likes it, though. Um, anyway, yeah, we're going to we're gonna kill the background music. I'm going to try to do, like, a fade out. I have no idea how good that fade out was. Um, so we're going to... I I haven't figured out what key anything's going to be in, or, like, you know, what... Uh, how any of this is going to sound, but... Uh, but, yeah. We're going we're gonna to see what happens with it. So the melody I had is just a simple, like, pentatonic melody. Like, let's, let's pick a key. Let's go... Let's go E minor. So I was thinking like these chords, like uh, C major seven or major nine, and then A minor nine into G major seven, and the melody is like. Uh, something like that. But then we'll like have lots of like jazz orchestration. C minor or bus. That was a fade out. A forever. Okay. The the my fade outs are bad. It's 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 fine. I think we know. Um you want C minor, okay. Um What would that melody be then in C minor? Uh Okay, let's do the C minor since you uh since you requested it so so uh so politely C minor or bust. Um, oh, the other thing as well is uh so I worked on the prog champ emote and it uh it turned out pretty cursed and then uh, Deconomus 
uh, fixed it in inverted commas. So this is what he has, <laughs> and uh, I think it's 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 a uh, it's getting there in terms of curseness. It's um, you know it's still pretty cursed, but we'll uh, well, we'll we'll see what we can do with this. So so uh, <laughs> fuck it's it's so bad. Um, anyway, yeah. So let's see what tempo we want. So we want C minor, right? So So I'm just going to record that quickly. Uh so And then you can see how badly out of time I am. Yeah, I'm, I'm early on all the all the notes. So we're just gonna fix the timing. Then what chord goes here? Fix it in post, absolutely. We fix everything in post. So I don't know how much like jazz tronica stuff you guys have heard, but like my favorite jazz tronica artist, like if I want to say it, that is a uh, anomaly. Um, I really like like just the combination of like the jazz harmony with the electronic vibes. So, so yeah. Oh, uh, hello, senpai six like six six god. I have no idea how to say that. I'm just gonna say like senpai six six god. Just, just go with that. Welcome. Welcome. Hey, I've heard of Tennyson as well. Tennyson's like more um like laid back laid back and chill, less like more laid back, less of the sort of jazz harmony stuff, but it's uh still pretty sick stuff. Yeah, Tennyson's great too. Um so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try to get like an idea of like the chord progression. So I'm literally like starting just from this melody in my head, and I had like some ideas for chords, but um I'm kind of spitballing so we'll see here how do we spell anomaly uh they're on spotify yeah that's how you spell anomaly how um how you wrote a breco and they are on spotify yeah thanks for the follow floof um so this first chord is going to be for in c minor which will be like an a flat major seven Yeah, we'll go for something like that. So, excuse me while I like m m mess about. Oh, Matt E M, thank you for the prime sub. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you. I will try and kill it. I will try and kill all my semblance of hope and optimism. Um, let's see. <laughs> so out of time i guess like being out of time doesn't really matter but like i want to make sure that uh it's like i don't have to do too much We'll go for that. That piano toad is lewd. Oh, it's so nice. I love this piano toad. Uh... I 
I can't remember the rest, but like you get the idea of how good the piano sounds. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that I'm, I can play in time. We're just going to turn the... So the piano is just going to be the basis, though. We're going to add, like, loads of other layers on top of this as well. And then this is going to repeat as well. So we could just do this again. Then the next chord is going to be... Um, I still use the Garrison piano tone. Yeah, the Garrison tone is serviceable if you have it in, like, a big mix. But I feel like when the piano is exposed, something like, uh, something like Keyscape is just so... just It's just so good. What's the other what's the other thing I can play on piano? Um That's the other one thing I can play on uh on on piano. Yeah, that's it is keyscape, yeah. Um so next chord uh So we have Ooh, you're gonna you're gonna love this next bit. So we're gonna go swing melody. Uh, S Studio One has like a swing setting, which is great. So, do you guys <laughs> recognize this? Uh... <laughs> Ooh, that's uh, it's too uh, too fast actually. You want to go thirty? Is it thirty second notes you want to do? I've had a change of heart. I want to exchange my channel points for a Keyscape license. <laughs> yeah, no, Keyscape is so, 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 so good. It's uh, it's pretty incredible, the sounds that can come out of Keyscape. So... So I'm thinking just uh just the well what what's the it'll be E flat major. Is that my signature chromatic run? Yes it is. You guys didn't even have to spend channel points on it. You you're you're getting it in the music straight away. Um in terms of this part of the writing process, like because I have very little idea of how it's gonna sound and I'm just like writing stuff down and thinking how it's gonna go, it will be a bit rough and very trial and error-y, but like you it's I think it's uh it's pretty cool to show off this part of the writing process where you're not really seeing like um, you probably don't get to see this very often because it's like, you know, why why would anybody show unfinished stuff? Then we're and then we just repeat this. I'm going to record this myself, actually, just to get the performance in. Oop. I fucked that up. And 
we just repeat that. So there, song's done. Thanks for joining in the stream. <laughs> no. Um, so I'm thinking like first repeat's gonna be really simple harmonically. So if I get up notepad and tell you what we've got. So uh good old notepad. So jazz tronica. So the first chord is a um a flat major seven ish. Well we we have a six there. Um but it doesn't really have this. It's got a six and a nine. So it goes from like what what would you even call that? Like an A flat six plus nine? Uh, I, I'm not, like, too hot on, like, naming chords like that. And usually you name it by, like, the highest interval. Um, but, I mean, like, it could just... You could just go higher. I appreciate your bravery in tackling this unknown lands landscapes live. I mean, like, you know, it's... Uh, it's the whole uh, performative element of streaming, right? Like, uh, we have no idea what's going to happen, and we're going to see, and this could be a complete disaster. A <laughs> major 69. Yeah. Let's just like go for the rough chord. So it's like, it's roughly an A major nine, uh, seven sound into, um, into the, um, F minor nine sound into and E flat major seven sound. <laughs> Yeah, they're both like nines actually. So it's like A flat major nine into an F minor nine into an E flat major seven. And that on on that one chord, I'm going for a C minor seven. Uh, thank you for following Troop Troop Troop. He's he's live. Ah, oh, welcome, the Keepler Keepler. Thanks for the emote spam. Uh, yeah, I am live. I'm making some jazz tronica. We're um trying to make music that's safe to play in the background just all the streams on twitch and uh yeah this is me just trying to figure out what i'm gonna do so obviously we're gonna have like a dilla jazz beat behind this drum beat and then here we can just like do a two five uh what's the five Let's do like an inverse like chord. Does that work? I'm like, I think I'm doing like a two five. Let's just put in the bass chord. How long is the stream meant to be today? Uh, it goes as long as I feel I can keep going, basically. Like, um, I just kind of like, uh, I just kind of write stuff. And then for instance, uh, one of the toughest things is when I get to a section in a song and it's like a lot of my writer's block comes from just like, what do, what do I do next? And like trying to tackle that might be a bit much. So normally I'll um, just leave it for another day. On average, I'm aiming for around like one, like one and a half, two hours, I think. Uh, thank you for the follows to Viticus the third and uh, gum three low. Thank you for the follows. Uh. Or could like just put that shorter as well. What's up, senpai gang? Uh, every I think everybody's good. I'm very full. I've had a big burger, so I'm like struggling to just keep the burger down. 
but apart from that, we're all good. Um, I guess the other thing as well is like um, I can I can start adding like drum beats and stuff. So usually I'd have like presets for this, but I'm just not rocking the presets. Um. So let's just let's just get the kick down. And then, uh, what's the other thing I usually do? So, this this is like the procedural stuff that I do normally when I open up these plugins, but I'm just, you're just gonna see it all live. Uh, sixteenth notes swung. Uh, sure, layer that with something else. Let's layer it with a. Uh, uh, Aaron Masahal, thanks for the follow. Prod B just, thanks for the follow. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna lay down this drum beat just to have it because I feel like it's it's easier to like visualize stuff and like play along to it if um if I can kind of hear something so that's what we're doing oh no I didn't want to do that so what I'm doing is I'm just loading up different instances of the sampler in Studio One, which is called Sample One. And the reason why I'm opening different instances is um, uh, is because I want to have different processing on the different samples. So um, I can't like, because I don't know if this actually does like multi-output stuff, like something like a... Actually, no, I don't know if it deals with multi output, so I'm just gonna have different instances. Why why do things properly if you can just brute force it? What kind of snare sound is that? We'll just we'll just deal with it. <laughs> That's not too bad, actually. And the other thing is, it's a Dilla beat, so we're actually gonna we're actually gonna make it a little bit early. So it's gonna be easier actually if I duplicate it first, and then just Dilla it. Welcome to music being ba made where most of it is just like, oh, this will do, and then copy and paste until until it fills up a, a beat. I hear birds chirping outside as my kid go to bed. See you, man. Enjoy the stream. Thanks, man. Thanks for popping on despite it being like 5 a.m. What's up, poggers? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, we got we got people here. Are there certain things you do to get your mixes to translate so well? Um... <laughs> This sounds, this sounds bad, but I'm gonna say I'm just winging it, man. I'm just winging every single step of the way. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Uh, do I want to swing the eighth notes as well? Let's swing the eighth notes a little bit. Just to, just to spice things up. That's gonna really add the dealer feel. So the, the the thing about Dilla is that um, Dilla beats is that you kind of just don't want it. You want it halfway between like swung and straight. And uh, my interpretation of that when I'm using something like Studio One where everything's on the grid is just make everything swing a different amount. 
Uh, hi, I just bought set to course and dropped a tab book. So great. Is there any chance to have Senpai 3 in the future? Yes. So we're going to do Senpai 2 and then we're going to do Senpai 3. So we're going to do all the Senpai tab books in the future as well. So like, keep an eye out for those. Oh, man. So next thing, I guess, would be hi-hat. So let me just add a hi-hat sample. This way, we can just like loop the beat as well. And... I've not done any processing or anything to this yet. It's just purely, purely just getting samples down for a feel. Uh, so. So I'm just gonna chuck these in here and hopefully it sounds okay. So the idea would be like the drums would drop out there, but it's just there. Um, so the other things as well is uh, probably want to just add the other instrumentation, right? And like see see what we get. So let's go and add a track of Omnisphere because of course we are. And I think maybe have like a have like a synth part that's like mirroring the melody. So let's go. Uh, here's here's the fun bit where we go through um, we go through synth patches to see if we can uh, find a lead that will work I'm looking for like something like short and snappy that has like a sort of so nothing like this. Some of these are like. Okay, let's let's just do that at the beginning, and I'll figure it out. So this will be synth lead. Uh. So. this to be straight not swung so I wanted to kind of fade but like not um, not not linger that like that so I'll just maybe find a different patch but like that's the kind of vibe I want like a sort of bounce short snappy bouncy sort of uh, lead sound <laughs> This kind of works. Then. <laughs> and then we just add this. I have noticed. I have noticed. Uh, I'm, I am gonna cheat though. So we've got two dad jokes. Unfortunately, like I don't have a like I don't have them all memorized. I'm just gonna have to hit you with them as I see them. <laughs> My deaf girlfriend just told me we need to talk.
That's not a good sign. So there's your first dad joke. Um, and your second one. Oh, that's that's one that has to work in writing. What has five fingers but isn't your hand? It's my hand. There you go. There are your two dad jokes for now. I forgot that was a reward. <laughs> oh my god, what did the meteorologist use to pay for his ice cream? <laughs> Climate change. Oh god. <laughs> Is there a face? Do I have a face palm emote? I think I do. Yeah, there, there's the face palm emote. If you're, if you're a sub, you get that face palm emote. BRB canceling sub for such a go. I mean, I don't even blame you. If you want, if you want to leave and just get out of here for, for those kind of jokes, then you should absolutely just go. Uh, what do I want to check the modulation on this synth? So like. If I turn the modulation all up, it's just like... Can we like do stuff like this? Will that... Yeah, that's kind of cool. If I... If I do stuff like this... So this would be like the, if you had like a synth, this would be like the mod wheel on the synth. Uh, and everybody's face palming. Like, honestly, that's just, that's just how things should be, really. It's kind of got a cool vibe. Actually, I, I like it. Um, so we're just going to figure out what other layers. I feel like we want... Um, we want... Uh, we want some, like, left and right synths. Uh, synth chords. So let's add... There, there's a patch that I like. I think it's called like, uh, oh, what's it called? What's that style of music that like Hiatus Kyote play? It's like um, Neo Soul. Is it Neo Soul? Neo. Let me let me just type in Neo. Got to be all. Neo Soul. Okay. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking of. So, so we're going to do two patches of backwards Neo Soul. Oh, fuck. I'm going to pan that hard left and right. I'm going to put this on channel two. Thanks for the follow, Highlander. I would love a legato violin, uh, a legato violin run of that melody somewhere in the song. I don't know if I'm gonna use violin, but um, we'll see. The other thing as well is I need to change one of the samples so that they don't sound exactly the same. So. <laughs> Uh, what am I doing here? Why is... Okay, so I've edited that. So...
I'm gonna put these chords in. Why are you only coming out of there? Channel two. These are both channel two. And it also sounds like they are really similar. Oh, I remember what I was going to do. So I need to like add a modulation for this. So you get this sort of like, it's hard to explain without doing it, but like you get this sort of wob effect. Uh, like this like that you got this one so I just hear the lick so often. Uh, thank you for the thank you for the follow, Shred Lord Supreme. Really appreciate it. Um, so we have this kind of vibe. Okay. 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 So I'm just gonna do that for each of the chords. Uh, what is going on here? I'm confused. Okay, whatever. Um, so we're just going to play the chords. So the thing is, it's kind of like the patches are kind of like just dying off though. So I kind of want to increase the release on them. So we're slowly building up like the texture here. What is going on with this? Sorry, like this selector tool's done something weird, so it's like, uh, it's really confusing me. Anyway, so we have. And then we just have the C chord. So if I just kill the drums here so that we get that proper drop off sound. Hello Hugo Maru. We're doing some jazz tonica. Oh, that's cool. Um, 
Cole. Well, not 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 cool. That's been a while since you've seen me. Uh, I've been stream. I've been streaming every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday since a couple of weeks ago, and I'm trying to make a regular thing of it. Um, the whole idea that I'm doing with these music streams. So on Monday, and Wednesday, I do music streams where I basically try to create um music that is Twitch safe, essentially. So music that is um safe to play in the background of your own Twitch streams and of my own Twitch streams. So that's what we're creating here. So we're getting um we're getting this sort of electronic jazz vibe. We getting drunk again on Friday? Ugh, I don't know if I can do it every week. I am I am old after all. Uh, we can uh can maybe have a have a whiskey or two though. Hello, Sensei Josh. We're making jazz tronica today. Trying to get this in time. Yeah, that 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 that's my scientific method of <laughs> getting that offbeat thing in time. So what I'm thinking here is we're just going to start spicing up the chord progression a bit. So we're going to add what's called a, a tritone sub here. So I'm going to play... Um, instead of doing a 2-5, we're going to replace the 5 with the tritone of the 5, which creates a sort of chromatic motion. that note there. So I want this note to be longer. Cool, so we're just building things up and hoping that they stick and sound good. Don't think I've ever heard of Jazz Tronica, but I'm ready for enlightenment. Yeah, like I said, listen to music, uh, artists like Anomaly, Tennyson, Rob Arajau. They um, they do really cool stuff. Hello, Jaco. What key is this in? This is in C minor, as requested by Aaron. Aaron wanted this to be in C minor, so we're doing it in C minor. Um, I think the only thing I'm missing is a bass patch. So I need to add a bass patch somewhere. I might use a different instance of of a um of omnisphere for that so it can eq it separately bk vtuber has just subscribed at tier one thank you very much really really appreciate it the the tritone of the fifth is d flat um no it would be uh in this case would be e because uh because uh because the chord that we're going to is um is e flat e flat major so in uh in, in the two five we're, the, we're already on the two chord which is the um f minor so we're trying to get to the e flat and the tri chord of the the tritone of this of the five of this would be the e usually like the thing is like that's like the way that you build a tritone stuff but like normally how i think of it is just it's just you have a chord and then you have the chord that you're going to and you just like if that chord is a tone above that other chord you just play um a dominant seventh chord that's 
like sharp of the chord that you're going to. Um, so you get this sort of uh, downward chromatic motion. So you get this sort of. Uh, so I'm gonna just add a a wob there and make this sort of slow going. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good. So it normally works fine. Maybe it's just because of the melody notes. I think it was at nine. So I might need to do this instead. Except Okay, so this is this is where we have to do a bit of like thinking about the actual chord here. Um, I did mention a Spotify playlist called Jazz Sonica. It's really good. So this is where I'm like, the, whether the chord might not work here. So what the fuck chord is this? So it's just this, these notes don't really work with that chord. So I'm going to have to like figure this out. So normally I was thinking of just doing the, so we're in C. I'm trying to get to that chord. So I might just go for like a regular 2-5, but like uh, invert it. Yeah, that, that just that just like has less room for error, I think. Uh, so. So there we go. Okay, so I did a little bit of experimentation, um, but we eventually, I eventually decided that everything I was trying doesn't work, so we're just gonna go for something more traditional. Tell a dad joke. Oh god, here we go. We're going for another dad joke. That's been three this stream. I'm gonna I'm gonna run out very quickly. Uh A man came up to me and said, Man, your clothes look gay. I said, I know. They came out of the closet this morning. Awkward silence. There's your dad joke. Um, so, <laughs> uh, what was I doing? I was t talking about, like, chords. Uh, And then here I'm going to do what's called the Weebu 25, which I think is going to be fun. So we're going to do I do a Weebu 25, which is just going to be
this chord. So I'm going to change the melody to be to this. This will make sense once I uh, once I once you hear it, but um I want these two chords in here to get, to make the next transition sound spicier. Why are you there? Okay, let's see how that sounds. And I have like I feel like I'm dealing with so many things at once, but uh this is how I normally work. I try I try my best so that I can like actually hear stuff because like it's only it's one thing like imagining hearing something and there's the other thing is like actually hearing it in context and like hearing how the melody works with it. Um So I'm gonna replace these melody notes with that melody note. So Okay. The other option for the Weebo two five is to play the actual five. Um which would be uh an E flat major an E flat dominant seventh. So where's the E flat? Uh, thank you for the follow. It's Lawrence. So if I change this to an actual dominant seventh. Oh, that works a lot better. Yeah, I'm trying to be fancy with these trantos, but like the the two fives are just working a lot better. There we go. Why have you been cut off? Oh, it's just a. This is really annoying me. How do I how do I get rid of this? Studio one. Move range tool. Ah, link arrow and range tools. There we go. I feel so dumb because that's never really uh that's never really happened to me before. But uh, it's uh <laughs> it was a really annoying. Yeah, that, I think that uh, 
That definitely sounds better. Um, where is the piano? How quietly we made it. <laughs> Happy Mario Day. Is it Mario Day? I have no idea. I don't really do the... I've not really played a lot of Mario games, actually, or Nintendo games. I never had a Nintendo when I was a kid. I had a PlayStation, so I played, like, Crash Bandicoot and all the Crash Bandicoot, like, knockoffs. All the all the knockoffs. Like, I played Crash Team Racing and not Mario Kart, so... Yeah. I'd love to hear this in an additional acoustic version when it's done. Uh, it would uh, it would require a bit more work, but uh, it's definitely not impossible. Synth bass. Uh, what's like a? Where's that plucked bass? Actually, let's look pluck. Okay. That might work. Do we want like do you want to match those notes or like do you want to like long? Let's just try this one. So how does the modulation sound as well? Okay, I see. Yeah, that's like more growl to it. So I'm thinking like a little kind of drum fill-ish thing. Uh, eighth notes, 20% swing. Hello, Cartoon Theory. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're making Jazz Tronica today to, um, continue the whole twitch safe music uh, theme So, what we have so far, 
is a nice little chill vibe intro so good vibes the next album there's one track with this sort of sound design oh it's sick now i love this kind of electronic stuff it was really fun to try on um hanako shoujo manga spinoff and also i'm trying to make this like distinct from the um from the lo-fi song because um i don't want it to be too similar the, the, the lo-fi song is gonna be like really um uh, it has to be like really laid back and chill. I don't want this to be more like lively and bouncy. Um, I'm, I think we're going to add a pad. Can you explain what you call the Weeb 2.5? Okay, so this might be easier with the guitar. I have a guitar. So. Oh, I have to tune this guitar. So, because of the tune, you know what that means? Not to tell a dad joke. Okay, here we go. I hate how funerals are always at 9 a.m. I'm not really a morning person. Everybody is like, everybody's just groaning. Okay, so in this song, we're in C minor, but the first chord is a, I'm going to, I'm going to restart this so that it's not like two at a time. So if I play along to this. So, the Weebo 2.5, yeah, you can't hear the guitar. It's going to be quite quiet. Uh, so, let me, let me do this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reach down. So, the chord that we're trying to get to is that A-flat major 7. And um, the chord that we ended on is like... So, a 2.5 would be um, just, you know... So, we're trying to get to the A-flat. So, the 2 would be that B flat and the five would be E flat. But the Weeboo two five is really interesting because it goes specifically to the to the four chord. So an E major. Uh, one, two, three, four. This chord has like a it's the same chord in a metal song. It goes like it's always that chord that people go to. It's the sixth in C minor, and it's the fourth of uh, E flat major, and it has like a has a has a specific sound, and a lot of a lot of music starts in this. So, what the Weeboo two five is, you basically treat that four chord as if it's a one, so you play the same two five as you would for a, for a one. So in E, e flat major. If I play a 2 5 for the. Uh, so that works when it's a 1, but this is not a 1, this is a 4 chord. So the, the regular 2 5 would be like. So. But what the Weeboo 2-5 is, like I said, we treat that as a 1. So we play, instead of playing 
dominant seventh major instead of playing the uh dominant seventh on the two and the and the um major seven on the five we actually play a minor seven and a dominant seventh as if this the next chord would be one um so what we get is this sound Does that does that kind of make sense? Um, that's that's what I mean by a weeboo two five. And it's just because of the privileged sort of sound of this chord. But yeah, that's like a, that's like my whistle stop tour of what the Weeboo Two Five is. Um, I'm in love with Snail's House, but I hear some C2 vibes and chords with electronic sound design. Yeah, I mean, like the Snail's House sound was a big influence on Hanako Shoujo Manga, manga spinoff from the new album. Um, my reference is in relation to the major version of the scale, so. It's, so kind of makes sense. Yeah, it's because like um, I'm a guitarist, so I like to think in minor scales, but. If we want to talk about music theory, we want to talk about major scales normally. So we say this is in um, this is in C, C minor, but it's essentially E flat major as well. Yeah, there's the E flat major. This might make sense if I. Uh, I copy all of this over. Uh, and in context, it might make more sense. So just bear with me as I copy this all over. You do not want to play nice, because for some bloody reason. Actually, no, that's fine. That's the, the snare that I'm thinking of. Oh, what did I do here? So you can kind of hear how it works together. So we have that kind of 2-5 transition into this new chord, which is being like privileged a little bit in the way that we're dealing with it. I'll, I think as well, 2-5s in jazz, um, I'm not a huge like theory expert, but 2-5s in jazz are often used as ways to, um, often ways to change the key of something. Um, so it kind of feels like a key change, essentially. Uh, Undertale vibes? Oh, that's cool. I've not yet to finish Undertale as well. I've, uh, I've played a lot of it, though. Um, so I think we're going to add a pad as well. So the pad is just going to flesh out the chords. Um... Probably don't want to repeat that particular section, but we kind of get the idea here. So I might just uh, do this instead. Hmm. 
And then that way we have like repeatable sections. That don't, uh, There we go. This must be so interesting to watch as me <laughs> editing MIDI. Oh yeah, that chord chain sounds about right. It does remind me of the four, five, three, six progression in reference to major. Just use the minor as the one chord, so to speak. Yeah, if we want to use the minor as the one chord, then we're going to we're two fiving to the six and treating that six as if it's a major one. If we use the one, if we use the major chord as the one, then we're two fiving to the four and using the four, treating the four as if it's a major one. If that makes sense. If that doesn't make sense, feel free to tell me that that makes absolutely no sense. I'm just talking utter gibberish I uh, just more fun than what I'm editing, lol. I'm just clipping 100 instances of the lyric, wake me up and trying to break the YouTube content ID algorithm. Oh God. Um, so if I, uh, if I add the pads now, so the pad, I'm going to find a synth that's just kind of chill. Electro synth poly. <laughs> I don't want epic pads, I want... That is creepy. What have I done? Pads plus strings, there we go. Oh, thanks for the follow. Uh, I. Idolus Silkus? Sly I Iodus Slykos? I never gonna Idolus Slykos. I think I get it, but my brain is weird with how it grabs information. Yeah, no, I'm exactly the same in terms of like uh how I think about theory, because I don't think about theory in a traditional sense because I'm self taught. So the way I approach and think about theory is gonna be different from someone who's, you know, had a formal education in it because my knowledge of theory is just stuff that I figured out as I've went along, and um, it's uh, it's very much like off the cuff knowledge as opposed to something that's solid. But I, I've like spoken to people who know theory, and so like, I have a sort of foundation for what I'm talking about in terms of like I know that it's not completely wrong, and the terminology I'm using is not completely wrong. But I have to do things like you know I think about minor ones all the time, whereas like when you think of, think about theory, you always almost always like approach the major one as like your root so all the all the chord names and all the chord numbers are like relative to that major root thanks so i didn't know you streamed but the twitch algorithm pointed me in the right direction set course from Dromeda was a theme to the entire summer that's cool man that's really cool also it's nice that people are actually you know just watching on stuff on twitch and getting recommended to my channel I feel like that that's like the missing element there. So just it, it just fills up the sound space a bit. Oop. Didn't want to delete you. I just wanted to copy paste you. This is the secret to editing MIDI. You just copy paste everything. Oh, 
The other thing as well is I can't like visualize inversions very easily. So I like do stuff with that. <laughs> uh, Sam, I'm in the Discord. That's all about Japanese contemporary music study. So it's not traditional, but it's all based on research. Th th that's the thing. Like, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen like the boomer talk where people are like, oh, I don't know theory. I play from feeling. And it's like, it's like saying, I don't believe in the laws of physics. I just make, you know, I just make paper airplanes that are completely confined to the laws of physics. It's like, you, you you don't know theory as in you don't know the language to communicate to somebody who's you know who understands theory but if you're playing like if you say you don't know theory and like you're playing like like it's like i just play for feeling i just play It's like, yeah, I just play that from feeling. I play that from the soul. It's like, you've just played a 12-bar blues in A A major. It's like, nothing nothing that you're playing is like an unsolved mystery. Like, we, we know how to construct those chords. We know how to get the notes from the chords. And we know how to... It's like, they, they treat theory as if it's, as if it, as if it's just like some boss to beat. It's like, it's just, it's just a language to communicate like what's actually going on with the note. Eo de li, Eo de Licos. Okay. Nice almost meeting you, yeah. Yeah, I was like that in high school and I had to start from basics. I'm nowhere near where I should be right now. <laughs> moment. Hearing C2 play 12 bar blues made my day. Oh, I love 12 bar blues. It's so cool. I agree with that for the most part music has the vocabulary to explain it even if you fade it out by ear and the vocabulary to reference it yeah so like when you say you don't know theory you don't mean you don't know music theory you just don't know the vocabulary to communicate it that's been agreed by everybody to how to communicate it so yeah I mean, the also the other thing is i don't know some people take like this weird pride in saying that they don't know theory it's like it's just it's like it's like taking pride in not being able to speak a language it's like a lot of people can speak a language, but they don't know the specific rules and the rules to communicate the rule, like the, the what people in linguistics use. And that, that's fine. You can still speak the language. You just don't know the specific rules to communicate with people to, um, you know, uh, talk about the specifics of how words and stuff are constructed and stuff like that. And that's fine. Um, but it's just like, you know, music, because music is more abstract than language and it's not as intrinsic we need tools to help us communicate uh, ideas in music. So that's why music theory came about. It's just Boomer saying the music I play isn't complex enough to need this language. I mean, the thing is, it, it doesn't matter how simple or complex the music is, right? Because it can be explained by the terminology and the ideas in music theory because, like, music theory is meant to describe all Western music, right? So, yeah, but I, I find it, I find it an incredibly useful tool. Like I'd rather know more theory than know less theory. Cause it's just like communicating this stuff is, uh, much easier with theory. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh fuck. What did I just do? <laughs>
Okay, so how long have we been doing this? About one and a half hours? I feel like I've been doing a, not a lot of talking and just a lot of staring at a screen and plugging in MIDI. But we have the beginnings of the song. So also, Radvig, thank you, thank you very much for the sub. That was hugely, hugely appreciated. Um, so I, st I, I still can't go over saying that. Thank you for subbing. Like, who fucking... Who wants to watch a weeb just talk about music shit for two hours every like three days a week apparently you guys so thank you um so we're gonna listen to what we have and then uh hopefully all my tinkering with midi has uh has gone somewhere so let's go So, <laughs> you guys are like, yeah, I, I want to, I want to hear that. I want to hear Weebs talk about music. Uh, Radvik, thanks for this com music and compositions. Uh, that, no worries, man. Uh, honestly, um, I like to think that I would have done the music if nobody would listen to it, but it's fucking cool that you guys are listening to it. So, so yeah, thank you. We are, um, we are currently. I'm trying to figure out what to do next. Um. We have like basically like the chorus. So I'm just starting with the chorus here. I'm just wondering whether this chord. One thing I can do is I maybe if I change the melody here, maybe I can get away with that. So if I change this chord to if I change this note to uh an A sharp. Ooh, no. So that doesn't work at all. I'm, I'm I'm convinced that I want a different chord here, but it doesn't want to play ball. <laughs> snare hits too soon, maybe. Yeah, that's on purpose. Um, it's like a it's trying to be like a Dilla beat, so the snare hits a little bit early. Uh, this is really common al along this kind of music. Every, like if I if I play the drums on their own, like it's gonna sound like a mess. It's like different swing. It's like different swings, and different like the snare is like hitting too early and stuff like that. What I might do is I might start adding some of the post-processing. So I'm going to cheat and I'm going to add what I normally add for uh, my my regular kick drum in um, Invasion.
This is the fun thing where I'm just like randomly EQing things and seeing if something like sounds good or not. And uh, it's the... So much of uh, mixing is just like this random trial and error stuff. Will the stream last three more hours at least? I don't know how, how many more hours you guys can watch it be just randomly like EQing stuff. Um, I'm trying to aim for like two hours, two and a half hours ish, and then like depending on how far I get, I'll I'll decide. I thought the bass and snare sounded pretty abrasive, but in the context of the rest of the instrument, it sounds class. Good job, thanks, man. I feel like I'm shopping for items in a Persona game. Yeah, I'm trying to get that uh, jazz tronica vibe that you get in like uh, um, from artists like Anomaly and uh, Rob Arjo and Tennyson, that kind of stuff. <laughs> Add some reverb as well. sounding I want you to go. Can I add a bus track for you? Add bus for selected channels. Has that not worked? Uh, Stereo. I like using stereo expanders to like kind of give the impression of like a wider field. Not not like a huge amount though. <laughs> Damn, I'm gonna miss everything. Go back to class now. Keep good all. Oh, that's a shame. Um, I was late because I was teaching. Feel your pain. <laughs> Have I played the game VA11 Hall A C2? I've not, no. Um, I've not, it's not a game I've heard of. Um, have I always used Studio One? No, I used to use, uh, I only used Studio One since Homebound. So Homebound was the first album that I used to be one. The other, the, my old doll that I used to use a Sony Acid Pro 7 and holy shit, look at this thing. Is this not like, is this not like the worst looking DAW that you've ever seen in your life? Just look at it. Just uh, just look at that amazing color palette. Feels like I'm using like Windows 2000 or something. Ugh, look at it. Oh my god, this is awful. This is what I used to use. I made so many albums and so many EPs with this piece of shit software. Oh god. Uh... I got a fractal MF3, pretty overwhelming. You and played an Iron Marshall, just get great sounds from fractal stuff, so I'm pretty excited. Yeah, I mean the th the thing with the um the thing with the 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 fractal audio stuff is that it's uh it's really easy to get good sounds from it, but it's like you kinda need to just understand basic amp signal chains and stuff like that. But like it generally generally speaking, like it won't give you a dud of a, a sound. Uh you just but uh there's still some work you have to put in though to get it sounding how you want. It looks like if Audacity attempted to make a proper doll. Yeah, it does. I've been using Ableton for a while. Acid Pro is crazy. It it sucks. So I used to use that. So and I switched to Ho Studio One for um since Homebound. So I did Homebound and then I did Senpai Three with Studio One, and I absolutely love it. It's really really good. Does everything that I need it to. Has lots of nice features. Um, isn't in like light mode. Imagine using like. Imagine using like light mode. 
Have you guys seen Discord light mode as well? Like, oh, it's it's actually so cursed. Let me let me. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna get banned from Twitch for this, but uh, if I change my Discord to light mode, oh god, I hate it. And I do this. Just just look at that. Just feast your eyes. Absolutely feast your eyes on Discord light mode. I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm just gonna let I'm just gonna let Discord light mode speak for itself. And uh, yeah, I tried using Discord light mode for a as a meme, and I actually can't because it's like the f most other like if I was on Wikipedia, for instance. So if I went to like Wikipedia, and like let's look up jazz. Like I find this is okay. Like I can look at this fine, but for whatever reason, Discord light mode just ruins my eyes. And I think it's because there's like no contrast. Like here, there's like it's like black writing on on white background, so like I'm okay looking at it, but like Discord light mode just kills me. It's it's just yeah. I have light mode on Twitter and Twitch and PC. Some others just hurt. I can't do I can't do Twitter light mode either. Twitter's got to be in dark mode for me. It's just I don't know. Obviously, there's the, there's a different preference thing, but like with some preferences, I'm just like how. How? <laughs> I don't. I don't get it though. Um, Discord is harsh for whatever reason. It's because like um, it's because like if if you look at like the channel colors, like on that on what I showed you, there was like purple and orange, and like they use gray for their channel names and the servers. Um. Yeah. So there's no like, there's not a huge amount of contrast, so it just really hurts. That's my theory. But yeah, Discord light mode is uh is a is a thing um i can't remember what we're talking about oh we're doing this so what have we got so far BPM is this? It's uh, 90. Oh, my fucking my face is in the way of the of the BPM counter. Yeah, it's 90 BPM. Um, if we slow it down to 85. I don't know if I like it slower. like nkbhd but instead of matte black everything is dark about everything yeah i think we have pretty much everything we need for the for the chorus just uh and then i just need to figure out what the hell comes next this is the hardest part i'm just like what actually comes next <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Two five one. Uh, well, the, the, like uh, I've already got the two five here, so the next chord has to be that A minor, A major, A flat major seven. Uh, if we want to keep the two five one consistent. Um. Okay. I just not the most like complicated melody in the world. What 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 could come next? I'm not sure. If there was no mayonnaise brand, what guitars would you use? Don't have to answer, but really, um, of all the guitar brands out there at the moment, the brand that probably comes closest into what I would need and want from guitars would probably be Ibanez. I think I've said Ibanez before, but I've not played any of their recent guitars. I'm just going by purely by their looks and what their features are. Uh, but it's hard to say because I'm like so enamored with the man as brand and man as guitars. So yeah, it's a hard question. Do a song in the locker room mode entirely next? Uh, I don't think so, mate. That's a, that, that's a hard sell. So No, no luck, no luck. Oh, you're, you said you're ending on A minor. No, no. So like the two five is going to A flat major, and we're in, we're in C minor slash E flat major. So what what what's what's gonna happen here? If I just like I'm kind of just spitballing apart here because I like I, like I said before the only thing I had for uh for for this song was that melody the that's all i had so all the chords and all the synth parts and stuff i've kind of just like spitballed a little bit so i'm kind of just like hoping that this is at least like somewhat watchable as a stream The Economist Jazz Boys on YouTube, Adam Lee, Paul Davis' videos, and it's pretty entertaining, I won't lie. I mean, their videos are just generally very good and entertaining anyway. I've not heard of uh, Paul Davis, but like. Um, uh, Adam Neely's videos are great. And he kind of started the whole like lick meme a lot. <laughs> So this next section, I'm thinking of just uh, this is going to be like a piano solo kind of bit, except I can't play a piano. So I'm going to write, try and write piano solo um, purely from purely from just uh, <laughs> programming. Wow, 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 wow,
So I think I have chord progression like this. That sounds perfectly usable, if not a bit simple, but you know, we'll take simple as well. Um, Okay, I kind of like that. So we're starting to put pieces together for the next part. Ain't no sense in not completing the thing. Sometimes I look back on compositions. I wish I just left them alone instead of, you know, over-engineering. That is one of the the biggest challenges, actually, when you write music, is knowing when is enough, what is enough, and figuring out a point to stop. Because, like, it's, there's, it's so possible. It's, like, such a common thing to just, like, obsess over something and be like, no, it needs more, it needs something else. And just, like, you end up just wasting so much time and energy on, on working on something. Um that's just that ends up just not improving it or making it worse um so it's just a case of um it's just a case of knowing when a song's done and when to move on you know and sometimes it's not going to be perfect but i think another thing as well is like when you're writing music and you're not necessarily writing music for like a release or something but you're just writing music for the sake of practice um just knowing when you're done it's like it's a very it's a very important thing can you play all? Uh, what do you mean by that? Uh, are you asking if I can play this stuff? Because if that's the question, then I guess it'd be no, because I um. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I don't. I'm not really a pianist or a keyboardist so Uh, can you play all? Oh, from the first part. Yeah, sure. So this is what we have so far. Thank you for the bits. 
So I, I was thinking like a piano solo. Also, uh, thank you again for the bits, but I just I have no idea what the fuck you do with bits. Like, I'm just like, yeah, bits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to figure that out. I'm such a Twitch boomer. Um, so I don't know what to do for a piano solo, but if it was to play like a guitar thing. Uh, first to play a guitar thing. How would it go? Uh, let's just get added to your sub revenue basically okay cool thanks for the explanation so nice oh thanks man uh, so if I was to like So what would I do here? That's what I'd play on guitar, but I'm like, I kind of want to not play guitar on this track. So, yeah. Which sounds a bit weird, but yeah. Axe at it. You did it. end up just like what was that chord sequence there it's just like a was it, it was just a two five it's like a <laughs> good lord that guitar part was it and on the first take <laughs> do not play guitar <laughs> I mean, like, uh, like f I love improvising with stuff like this. And l this chord progression is fun because you have, like, this. <laughs> then you have that. Which kind of modulates you. So that modulation is really fun to play over. Chord B. Trying to figure out next goal. This would be the coolest thing ever if you release some C2 signature tone presets on the Archetype plugin pr preset. Uh, you know what? Let's 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 see how Archetype is. So. Okay, so this should just be like my plane. Got all bypass done. Thanks for the follow, Lex West. Um, Where is it? Uh... Archetype Plenty. Uh... <laughs> 
That is very noisy. I don't know why. Probably just because it's coming into my interface. Uh, let's not go for the drive. I want this option. Rock Chan. Oh, wait. I'm getting my first floor. I'm, so, I'm pretty stoked for it. Make this interface completely riddled with anime. <laughs> and Proc Chan's face is in it. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I am running bypass through my Axe Effects, though. I'm not, like, r directly plugged in. So that might be the that might be the ticket here. I just have to grab another guitar lead one second. I'm even using like the Dario guitar cables. What a shill. Oh my God. A bit of, this is a bit of a distraction, but <laughs> we should be working on the music, but you know what? It's fine. You, you guys don't mind me playing guitar randomly in my streams, do you? That's a lot better. That's like, I look at these settings, oh, that shouldn't be that much reverb. I'm just like, it's like more reverb than I fucking ever, ever used in my life. Um. Yeah, uh, honestly, like, this plugin is, like, so good. I can just, like, randomly mess around with a few things and we get, you know, a pretty good-sounding plugin. We can, like, kill the gain a little bit. <laughs> Sounds like we can hear the DI signal. Oh, yeah, the DI signal is coming through on that, on this, uh, thing. That makes sense. That does make sense. Um, uh, so on my interface, inputs one and two come through on the di but um inputs three and four don't so i have to put it into input four i think or i could just you know not use <laughs> not use the plugin because like it's just extra someone just mentioned plenty of archetypes like oh yeah i've got that i can i can show you how i do stuff with that <laughs> Uh, let's 
see. What what were you, what were you actually doing? Oh, I was thinking of like coming out with a piano solo for that bit. So. <laughs> That ping pong delay is wild. Yeah, it is really wild. Uh... Those are ideas I have for if I was making a guitar solo, I would that's how I would do it. Um, but I'm trying to think, uh, I want to change the chords up here, so uh, there we go. Oh, same vibe as well, actually. So we have the... And here we have... Keep it simple. Don't need to overcomplicate it. <laughs> Jazz, yeah. But I want to do this. So I always do this where the third repeat's like different. So I've just like changed up the, the chord progression on the third repeat of this to give a, a slightly different vibe. <laughs> And just this flat five. Thank you for the follow day. Uh, follow day? I was reading the name. Like I do this thing where I read something and I like I say what I'm gonna read, and it's just it's just dumb. But uh, thank you for the follow, Pilgrim Prodigy. <laughs> Oh my god, no. Just wondering how I fucked that up. <laughs> Oh, 
where is the other two five that I had? And then just finish on the same progression. Just uh, following the chord sequence here. Then we just repeat all the drums, and we kind of have like a piano soloy bit. So the whole chord progression here would be uh, 31 to 31 to 32, just reverb with tails with a snare on third. Uh, oh, they're not copy paste, okay. <laughs> The flat five is actually fucking nutty. I uh, dude, flat. I love flat five sounds like that. Here, here's the big brain pog moment though. That change from that C to the B is the same change in the chord here. So what? Oh, sorry. So. So what we're doing in this chord is we're changing to flat five. So we have this F minor nine. Then we have an F minor flat nine. And but the rest of the progression is actually uh, this A flat major nine. So an A flat minor nine. But the, the the thing is, it's the same note change. We're changing the fifth. The fifth being flat from the B, from the C to the B is the same here. C to the B in the in the A flat chord. So. Uh, I'm basically using the same change of notes, but I'm two, using two different sets of chords for the same uh, vibe feel. So that's a uh, that's pretty cool. It's pretty good. Uh, I kind of just want a. Uh... I kind of want to do like a vibrato thing here, but uh, my brother currently has my other keyboard, so. So I can't actually like manually do like a little vibrato thing. So we're going to see, can we program <laughs> uh, vibrato here? <laughs> I have no idea whether this is going to work or not. Oh, 
Oh, it has to be so much faster than that. Can you just like repeat this? It's not bad. Want to become famous? No. Bye bye. Being famous is overrated. Like, if someone if someone said to me, like, would you rather have like, would you rather have like loads and loads of money, but nobody knows who you are, or would you rather be like super super famous while having to have with that money? I'd be like, yeah, I don't want anybody to know who I am. <laughs> Let's see how this transition works. I'm just going to play the whole thing and see how, how we go. So now I'm going to attempt to start writing a piano solo. Thank you for the follow, Riff Rider. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, let's see. So it'll just it just sounds like the chord. This is why I wish I could play piano so I don't have to do this. Cause like this is a pain. This is this is just pain. Uh, random question just saw your still wall listing which still wall plugins do you use the most often um so i use rocket um and 1973 a lot so rocket is a compressor and i use that on a lot of my guitar tracks uh, 1973 i use for like sort of character eq and on my master channel i use bombardier and event horizon so those are the still wall plugins that i use the most um
Do I go for like these weird like Jacob Collier style like stacked chords or something? I think I do. Amazing, thanks. Yo, you stream now? Yes, I do. I've been streaming for a little while now. Uh, uh, I've been streaming. I stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Mondays and Wednesdays, I basically gonna make like music production days, and the idea is that I'm going to make music that is safe to play in the background of my own Twitch streams because you know, otherwise, I'm just gonna get DMCA'd. Oh, thanks for the prime sub, dude. Thank you. I You told me how to pronounce it. I've completely forgot. I'm so sorry. Especially after you subbed. get rid of these actually i don't like them i'll add other notes i just want to get the basics down actually So this, this is what I wanted to do here. Yeah, I wanted to get that sort of minor, uh, minor four vibe. Okay, so that's like the melody I want to go for, but like it's a solo, so I want to spice it up, but you can kind of hear what I'm going for here. <laughs> You can barely hear it, so that's actually a problem. So let's add some volume automation and make this bit louder. Uh, automatic's fun, isn't it? <laughs> So that's what I'm going to go for. Okay, that that kind of that kind of works. Uh, am I hitting like not n sure where to go next territory? I possibly am. Uh, I might have to think about the piano solo off string. So let's just hear what we've got so far, anyway. And I've accidentally changed the tempo. There we go.
can kind of hear where we're going there. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna save it there. I'm gonna say I'm gonna call working on this for now. And uh, I think the next music stream is actually gonna be next Monday. So we're gonna have a I'm gonna have a little while to think about this and think about how I'm gonna approach that solo. Um, I may go and adjust the mix in between streams, but I will not add anything. So when we come back to this on Monday, like you're just going to see these parts. There's not going to be anything new, but I'm going to, you know, go and listen to the mix and see, see what we can change. And like, just to, just to, so that I'm not like mixing on stream. Cause I feel like, uh, the mixing part can be a little bit tedious, but. Uh, I want to focus more on the creation part, but like if I do change anything, um, if I do change anything with regards to the mix, I'll go through it with you at the beginning of the, the stream on Monday, just so that you know what's happening. Uh, I need to apologize. I've had my audio on mono for a while. It's fixed now. I apologize deeply. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Cause like, uh, I'm pretty sure my stream's coming through in stereo. If it's not, somebody would have told me by, by now, I think. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's like such a that's like such a cliche line, but I love it. I just love that line. I think it's just it's so cliche, it's so overdone, and I'm just like I don't even care. Sometimes like cliches are are cool for a reason. I think, um, but uh, yeah, let's uh, let me get the let me get the other music on. Got the other music on. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wind down the uh. Wind down the stream a bit. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, that's uh definitely the definitely the idea. Uh, Steve Edigas the third sounds good. Talk to you Monday. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah, it's like um just gonna chat for a little bit before I go. But uh, normally the idea is like I'll do the music stuff and I'll just sit and chat. And uh, yeah, I mean, I was a little bit like apprehensive because I literally had no idea what I was um. I literally had like no idea what I was doing, so it was like, how much like am I actually gonna have something workable? But the fact that I got through the like the first chorus with like a relatively mixed part was was cool. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for uh for hanging and chilling through that. Uh, they were cool enough to get used enough to become cliche. Exactly. So those uh those cli those parts are cliche for a reason. Um, actually, yeah. So. I think uh, I think I don't really have anything else to say. I want I need to I need to save things to say for the Friday streams, the just chatting streams. So um, yeah, thanks very much for hanging out. Uh, we we started out on the Jazz Tronica track, track three of our Twitch safe background music. So yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys on Friday. Um, bring bring questions and topics to talk about. Like I want to like, I. I feel like because I, I talk so much about music on Monday and Wednesday, like let's talk about anything. Like if you have like science questions or if you have like, you know, questions about current events or, you know, things that are happening that are cool, like, you know, stuff like the Mars lander, stuff like that. Bring those kind of questions and topics to the Friday stream because we, we'll, we'll talk about anything then. So, yeah, that's your homework. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for tuning into the stream. Really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys on Friday.